Hello and welcome to the TMC Newsroom on the road. My name is Rich Tarani. On our program today is Evo Pascucci, who is with TINet. Hello, Evo. Hi, Rich. How are you? Good. Good. Thanks. Today. Yeah, likewise. Thanks for being on our program. Thank you. So, um, tell me a little bit about what your company's up to these days. Well, we just issued a press release today that uh, we've added some new uh, capacity to our network. Uh, it's the Transit uh, Europe Asia cable, which is a lower latency route between Europe and, uh, and Asia. So we've connected uh, Hong Kong to Stockholm, which uh, we'll be bringing to our customers, our IP and uh, Ethernet customers, a, a lower, lower latency option uh, for their traffic, which uh, these days is becoming more, more important to, uh, to many networks and their applications. So for us, uh, this is another big step for us towards, uh, you know, building and expanding our, our network uh, and, and diversity into our backbone. And a while back, you uh, announced a new facility in the U.S., right, New Jersey? Yep, we actually, yes, we did. In, uh, we're in Equinix in 275 Hearts Way, so we're expanding our New York Metro uh, network. Today we have uh, five points of presence in uh, New York and New Jersey. Uh, we also added uh, Boston to our network uh, about two months ago. So, uh, you know, we're continuing also to, to develop and penetrate and build capillarity into our, uh, into our North American infrastructure. We were talking a little bit earlier about how um, I've been out and, and met with your, uh, your company CEO a while back yep. in uh, Calgary and in, in, in that area. It was uh, Sardinia. It was an amazing place. Beautiful place, yes. Wonderful, wonderful island. That apparently neither one of us get out to <laughs> often enough. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> too much work, right? <laughs> yeah, too much work, too much work. So uh, for any of the viewers that want to get out there, it's, it's just a, a beautiful place. Sardinia was amazing. Uh, so you're, you're expanding internationally. Yeah. Are you seeing demand for any other routes now that you're not in that you're, you're thinking of, of building? Well, what we're seeing a lot of uh, customer requests is uh, to Brazil. Actually, Brazil is a, is a market where we're seeing a lot of uh, demand uh, build up, and it's... I guess the business and the economy in Brazil is really uh, flourishing. Is that lately. Olympics so and World Cup? Related? Olympics and World Cup are coming as well, which right, are big news for fair uh, for 3D. I would imagine 3D absolutely. channels and all that. Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, network build out going on in Brazil for this uh, for these big events that are coming up in 2014 and uh, I think 2016. And um, yeah, and so we're seeing that as well as the economy there is doing really well. And there's a, a large uh, middle class uh, growth in Brazil, which. Uh, you know, for TNET in our, our model, we, we like to follow where the broadband penetration is increasing. So if you look at all the markets that we're in today, I mean, we're in the primary markets where broadband penetration is very high. And we'll continue to uh, follow with our network uh, the markets where broadband penetration is increasing. So you mentioned Brazil, which makes a lot of sense. Are there other parts of South America as well that are seeing any of that? I, yeah, I mean, all of South America is really growing. I mean, obviously, Brazil is uh, the largest market in South America, uh, where there's the most growth uh, today. But there's, yeah, I mean, across South America, we're seeing uh, a lot of growth uh, in the economies and in broadband penetration. Uh, you know, Mexico, Ecuador, Chile, Argentina. I mean, all of these uh, markets are very interesting uh, for the Internet today. Good. In terms of latency, are you seeing more... Uh Wall Street and financial firms as customers that are interested in these low latency networks? Yeah, I mean, we're, our focus is on the carrier side, so we don't really see directly these opportunities, but we do see from our carrier customers requests for, a, lo a lot of times they're asking us, you know, what is the latency from point A to point B, and we need to provide that information for our customers. So we are, you know, we are seeing a shift in, in let's say, uh, higher visibility or uh, uh, you know where the customers are, are requesting this and need need to know the latency before they can turn around and sell the services, um, but it's not something that we can necessarily you know keep building our network after <laughs> after the lowest latency route because what we're seeing is every day a new low latency route is coming out so it's it's really hard to keep up. Tremendous with. opportunity, but yeah. also highly competitive and a challenge. Yeah, yeah, at the same time. Okay, so Definitely. what's next for the company? Well, for TNET, I mean, we're, uh, what we've been do focusing on lately was our Ethernet point-to-point -point service. And uh, that's a, an area of growth where we're uh, building global WANs, uh, layer two uh, global WANs for networks that have uh, presence in many countries and need to connect by Ethernet, uh, you know, five, six, seven uh, different countries globally. And, you know, TNET being present in 24 countries today, we are able to, you know, support that, uh, those kind of opportunities and services for our customers. So. That's an area where we're seeing uh, growth and demand and a lot more uh, requests uh, you know, on the sales side for TNET. Awesome.
Well, thank you for being on the program. Thank you. Thanks for your time, Rich. Yeah. Nice to see you. Take care.